Let's see how she goes. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the all-new 2021 Land Rover Range Rover SV Autobiography Holy Yoke Edition. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Land Rover here in downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this SV Autobiography. Check out their inventory and link below. Let's get straight into the video. So under the hood, we have a supercharged 5-liter V8 that goes through an 8-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 557 horsepower and then 516 pound-feet of torque with fuel economy being 14 around town and then 19 on the highway. Now let's go to the front end of this Holy Oak edition. So first off, notice we've got the gold lettering here on the front. We've got this beautiful SVO premium paint color. Looks absolutely fantastic. We've got full LED lights just down below, all of the black accenting with the grill and the venting here on the side. Parking sensors just down below. But yeah, definitely a distinctive look from the front end, especially with that gold lettering. Now coming around the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 22 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear. And then this also does come with adjustable air suspension from the factory so you can adjust the ride height and it makes it ride significantly smoother. And then notice we've got the blacked out brake calipers as well. We've got the black accenting here on the side and then notice that that's actually body painted on a lot of these Land Rovers. It'll actually be silver so it's cool that that's body painted. And then notice that the rails at the top are black so are the mirrors. And other than that, here's your full side view. Now popping here into the rear, notice that we've got the tailgate right here, which definitely a cool feature, added utility to that. And I mean, I don't know, it looks cool when it opens. Anyways, coming down here, we've got all the adjustments there for the seats to basically raise or lower them. And then this is for the air suspension to raise or lower that in the rear end as well. And then you can see all the goodies that you get from the factory. We've got a cargo cover right there. And then we've got this little power outlet. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for the rear. So we press that and it'll go back up and then we press this and it'll go back down. It's cool that it's all automated. Now let's finish things off here with the rear. So I really love how they have the black pillar right there, but then the blue roof. So it looks like the roof is kind of floating. I don't know, I think that's a cool design touch. And then we've got all the gold lettering here on the back. I love the tail lights. We've got our SV autobiography badge right there, parking sensors along the bottom. We've got a receiver hitch right here because yes, you can tell with it. And then we've got the dual exhaust tips right there at the bottom. And yeah, other than that, that is everything for the rear. Now let's pop into the back. So first off, let's go over the door panel. Beautiful leather here. I love the brown leather down below. Nice perforated leather here with the piano black trim. Notice all the adjustments that the rear passengers get. Yes, rear passengers, pretty crazy. And then up here with the window, we've got a bunch of speakers for the Meridian sound system. And then here are the seats. This seat is in full relax mode right now, but you can see beautiful black leather with the brown leather, all nice stitching throughout. It's like a diamond pattern, just looks really good and well, Let's pop in. Man, today's leg room is the best leg room that has ever happened on the channel. This is so comfy. First off, we have the most over-engineered cup holder in the history of over-engineered cup holders, but I absolutely love it. So you have this thing to open or close it, and that's how you get to the cup holders. Like, I don't know, if that doesn't speak fancy, I do not know what does. Now we do have the center console here for the back passengers. Notice that that says Range Rover on it. And yes, you guessed it, it is a mirror so you can look at how beautiful you are from the back seat of your Holyoke edition. And yeah, nice felt here. And then this is also automated. I mean, gosh, man, is your car really a luxury car if the armrest is not automated like that? I mean, like, come on. Are you, are you even trying at that point? And then notice there's a button there on the front to uh, lower it down again. Now we do have some climate controls just here in this area. We have a dual zone climate in the rear, heated seats and cooled seats for the rear passengers, tons of charging areas. And notice that you even have this right here that you can actually use as a foot rest, which I think that that's another cool feature. Like, I mean, just the amount of luxury you get here is ridiculous. So here's our door panel in the front. So we've got that same beautiful leather here with the brown leather down below. All of our adjustments here for the front seat and then all of the controls there for the window and then the mirror adjustments. I think it's pretty cool, it's on a little screen. And then notice we've got more speakers for the Meridian sound system. Here are the front seats. Really nice cushioning there for the headrest. And you can see beautiful leather design all down the rest of the seat. Pedals look amazing. And then that's just to open up the hatch, but yeah. 
There's one more look before we pop in. Now here's our steering wheel in the Holyoke edition. I love how you have the contrast between the gloss black and then the black leather. And then we've got the brown airbag cover, just looks absolutely beautiful. Cruise control on the one side, and then we've got all of our controls here for the center stack on the other side, and then you press that and notice the little screen actually changes, which is another cool feature. But yeah, overall, really nice steering wheel, nice paddles there on the back, and then we've got those stock there for the lights and turn signal, windshield wiper stock, and yeah, that's all for the steering wheel. Now here's the center stack. First off, if we press that little keypad on the steering wheel, it'll show you basic bits of information on the vehicle, media, all that kind of stuff. Pretty normal setup. And then also the drive modes will pop up here in the center screen as well when you change to the different drive modes. I'll show you guys the drive modes in a little bit, but notice the little kind of icon there and then also here in the center with the drive modes. And then we've got the speed on the one side and then we've got the RPMs on the other side. Now here's the center infotainment system. First off, if I pop it into reverse notice, we've got the backup camera that'll pop up. It does have the trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel and notice that it's giving me a warning right there saying, hey, someone's there potentially, which is pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, let's, let's go over the rest of the camera system. So notice that we actually have a 360 view right there. And then if we press that little camera button, we have all the different viewpoints. So for example, we can go front viewpoint. We can go other front viewpoint. We can go back viewpoint. We can even go side viewpoint. So like from a camera system perspective, absolutely fantastic. And then also has all the parking sensors. So yeah, parking it, never gonna be an issue. Now, as for the rest of the screen, response time with the screen is really good. It's easy to use. And it's got a bunch of shortcut buttons here at the bottom. Notice you've got the seats where you can fold them down. And it's pretty cool that you just have like a little tab there. You can do that automatically. But yeah, overall, again, Easy to use, has a bunch of cool functions like the rest of the Land Rover lineup. And on top of that, notice that you've got the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You can go to the cameras if you want. I mean, just yeah, super easy to use. And also, well, I missed it, it was on the other page. We have a valet mode, which if you buy this, of course you're gonna use the valet. Now down here, this is kind of like our climate control slash drive mode select screen is the best way to put it. So you can control the climate system here. So for example, if I want to change the fan speed, it'll pop on there. And then notice that we can push in for the seat. So if I want to turn on the air conditioned seat, for example, I can do that and then you can sync everything. And then we've got the vehicle tab right here, which has all the different drive modes. So I've got to pull, push down the switch and then it'll pop up. Notice we've got the comfort, you've got eco and we've got dynamic. And then on the other side, We've got our grass, gravel, snow. We've got our mud, ruts, sand, and then you've got a rock crawl mode. And then we can just basically push it down and then it'll put it back into automatic mode. But then if you push it up, it'll basically start it in the comfort setting. Here's our transmission selector for that eight speed automatic. And then this is just the covering for the cup holders. Have our nice SV autobiography plaque, off-road cruise control, stability control. This is that drive mode select that you have to push to be able to go through the drive modes. This is for the air suspension to raise or lower it, hill descent control, and then your low range parking brake. And we of course have the refrigerator center console, which is definitely a nice touch. And then aside from that, look at the beautiful leather here on the outside of the glove box. So we've got the top one, and then we have the, well, I didn't press the button hard enough. There we go. We've got the bottom one all lined with felt. Definitely looks nice. Just the interior in this is absolutely beautiful. And then my favorite part, we have the leather headliner. So perforated leather, there's beautiful stitching all throughout. And even the sun visors, they've got some uh, Alcantara on them and then they've got leather on the other side. Just, it looks really good. And then of course, full panoramic sunroof. So here is the window sticker and then feel free to freeze a frame if you would like to read through all of the exact options. And you guys can see the total MSR, well, base MSRP, $179,000. And then notice the Holy Oak edition is in 18,000. $595 package. And then this does have the bespoke paint, which is called the SVO Premium Blue. Looks fantastic. I absolutely love the paint. But we can see the total MSRP here, $204,145. Let's take her out and see how she drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. So there's your visibility over the hood and then through both of the mirrors that do have blind spot monitoring and then throughout the rest of the rear. And that all being said, let's set off. We are setting off in this Holy Oak edition and sorry if I'm not pronouncing that properly, but I think that's how you pronounce it. And you guys know I am a huge fan of the full-sized 
Range Rover. It's just such an amazing vehicle for a whole number of reasons. So first off, it is so smooth with the air suspension. This is like the definition of living the life of luxury. It's just, it's so nice. And you can just have it like, for example, in the comfort mode, which is what I have it in right now, or the automatic mode where it'll kind of adapt to the driving situation. And again, just super smooth, super quiet, just give you this nice luxury car experience that, you know, not a lot of vehicles offer that nowadays because they try to make things a little bit too sporty. And on top of that, these seats, not only do they look beautiful, but they are extremely comfortable as well. And I've got the air conditioned seat function on. That's pretty much all I need. I'm pretty uh, low maintenance and yeah, just feels amazing. I love the feeling of the steering wheel on this as well. It just feels really nice. It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, and again, when you're in this, you sit a little bit higher up, so you definitely get that higher up driving position feel. But on top of that, just because of how nice this feels in the interior and it really just takes you out, it kind of just, it gives you this just experience as you're driving it. And obviously this vehicle is meant to be used as kind of like a chauffeur car, but you still could just drive this yourself and you would just absolutely love it. And then your kids would be living in the absolute life of luxury back there with the reclining seats and everything, but yeah just very very uh, nice from a driving perspective but still has really nice brakes and still has good power which you guys will see in a second so we have the dynamic program selected and i'm going to go into the manual mode and also i have the shifter set over to the s mode so pretty much we are in our most aggressive driving setting from i guess a sporty driving perspective and let's see how she goes <laughs> yep, she punches. She definitely punches. Yeah, that supercharged 5.0 just has so much power, so much torque, and it's just instantaneous. No turbo lag, right? Because it's supercharged. You don't have to deal with any of that shenanigans. You just get all the power on the torque and just boom, fly off the line. But the thing is, they've tuned this sound wise in terms of the dampening to the interior and then also with the amount of mufflers that it has to where it's not super loud like if you get into an svr right it's loud and obnoxious this you get some nice v8 sounds but you definitely have a quieter experience with the engine it's more tuned to the luxury side where if you're just barely getting the throttle you really don't hear much from the engine or the exhaust and so again it just takes you out of the outside environment which is what you want in a luxury vehicle like this and so let's get into setting things up first off the exterior styling on this looks amazing especially with this blue paint i am a huge huge fan of this blue paint i think it is uh beautiful we'll just say that and then in terms of the interior with this brown accenting, it just looks absolutely phenomenal. Like it is the nicest interior that I have pretty much ever seen in a new vehicle in terms of the design, material use, just everything is just perfect. Everything feels really nice that you touch and that you look at, all of it's just absolutely fantastic. And then aside from the interior design and all that, ride comfort is absolutely amazing. It's really quiet in the interior. The air suspension does a good job with kind of just soaking everything up and just giving you a really nice driving experience. And overall, if you want just like a king of the road luxury car feel, this gives you that. And it just, it's a very unique experience. It's hard to explain. You have to drive one of these to really be able to tell. We had super unique experience and the styling on this Holyoke edition just top notch. Now let's get some things up for our video on this Land Rover Range Rover SV Autobiography Holy Oak Edition. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to Land Rover of Salt Lake for giving me some time with this SV Autobiography. Check out their inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.